Travel Robot Presence Hey, in this video we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Nigeria. Nigeria is huge. And just as the naysayers say size doesn't matter, you realize that in West Africa, where just a couple of miles adds another fascinating tribal group, or that journey over the Obudu Plateau makes the difference between Guinean savanna grasses and verdant tropical rainforest, it really, really does. The point is that Nigeria is a country of many colors and creeds. Moving away from the towns and to the country, and Nigeria's many faces continue. This time they appear like humans in the form of chimpanzees from the forest-clad gorges of the Gashaka Gumti, or they are plumed in pink like the black cranes of the Baden-Guru wetlands. It's all very wonderful stuff. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Erinai Jesha slash Alumarin Waterfall Erinai Jesa, or Alumarin Waterfall, is one of the most visited waterfalls in Nigeria. It is located right in the heart of Osun State in the southwest, just two kilometers away from the Erinai Jisa town. Indigenes believe the waterfall possesses healing qualities. Erinai Jisa in its entirety consists of three waterfalls, linked by several trails with various stop-off points at certain levels. Hiking to the peak of Erinai Jisa takes around two hours, but the mesmerizing views of valleys, shallow pools, hills, tall trees, and lush vegetation are definitely worth it. Number 9. Obudu Mountain Resort With one of the most picturesque and amazing views you'll ever see, the Obudu Mountain Resort is a favorite holiday destination for many tourists. It is located on the Obudu Plateau in southern Nigeria, within a short distance of Cameroon, one of Nigeria's neighbors. This is the best place to be if you're looking for an adventure in a serene environment. To enjoy more of this scenic view, be sure to take the cable car ride from the bottom to the top of the hill. You'll get to see the Angel's View, the Grotto, the Presidential Villa, and many other places to a truly magnificent backdrop. Number 8. Okai Danri slash Idanri Hill Okai Danri, a cluster of gigantic hills, is an absolute marvel to behold. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is located in Ondo, a southwestern state of Nigeria. The hills completely encircle the Idanri town and are visible from all angles. Along with their beauty, the hills are entrenched in the history of Idanri indigenes, woven into many Nigerian myths. Sometimes appearing to touch the sky, the hills are a true wonder to behold. To reach the peak, visitors have to climb a 3,000 feet tall staircase, nearly 700 steps. This is definitely an ideal spot for hikers, adventure seekers, and fun lovers. If you are in the area, the King's Palace is also a major attraction and more than worth a visit. Number 7. Cross River National Park Often regarded as the African Amazon due to its vastness and beauty, Cross River National Park is located in the southeastern part of Nigeria. The park is divided into two major regions, 50 kilometers apart, the Okwangwa region and the Oban region. The biodiversity of this natural wonder is well known. It is one of West Africa's richest tropical rainforest regions. The park is home to a variety of animal species, including gorillas, chimpanzees, drill, birds, and rare butterflies. If you're lucky, you can also spot leopards, baboons, and buffaloes. The Agbo Kim and Kwa waterfalls are magnificent to lay eyes on and are two of the park's must-see natural wonders. There is simply so much to see at Cross River National Park, it would be a crime not to visit during a trip to Nigeria. Number 6. Yankari National Park Located in northeastern Nigeria, Yankari National Park is the natural home of the African bush elephant, the West African lion, the African buffalo, and many kinds of majestic wildlife. Other top attractions include the Wiki, Dimmel, Mawoldo, and Guana Warm Springs, the Marshall Caves, and the Ducky Wells. Yankari National Park is also home to some of the earliest examples of human settlement, dating back millennia. Paintings and engravings on rocks, such as the Tunga Duts, are some of the park's must-see attractions. Yankari National Park has something for everyone. You can see many animals in their natural habit on safari, swim in the warm, soothing waters of the Wiki Springs, enjoy plenty of history and biology at the on-site museum, 
and stay overnight amid the beauty of Wikicamp. Number 5. Calabar Known for its rich history and palm oil trade, Calabar is the beautiful capital city of Cross River State. The city is home to one of the oldest churches in Nigeria, the Duke Town Church. The gateway to the reserves of the Cross River, the state of which Calabar is the capital, and the further flung rainforests of the Afi Mountains, home to gorillas, chimps, rare rockfowl, and craggy peaks of stone. The town of Calabar is a well honed tourist stop off on the way through to Cameroon or the southern Nigerian coast. Before making a beeline for the amazing primate sanctuaries outside of the town, though, be sure to linger a little and case out the darker past of the city at the Calabar Museum. Calabar was once one of the principal slave trading ports in West Africa. Also worth a look is the Duke Town Chapel, which is considered one of the oldest Christian worshipping houses in Nigeria. Calabar is a striking, tourist-friendly city, situated on a hill facing the Calabar River. It is also regarded as the cleanest and the eco-friendliest city in Nigeria. The city boasts of a popular annual carnival, wildlife reserves and sanctuaries, and a prestigious university, the University of Calabar, among others. Number 4. Kano, the capital city of Kano State. Kano is a major agricultural and commercial region. It is the oldest city in West Africa and has a rich medieval history. A charming city, Kano is popular for its various festivals and is renowned for its horseback riding due to its location in the south of the Sahara Desert. Some of the main attractions in Kano City are the Imr's Palace, the Murtala Muhammad Library, the Kajaru Castle, Dala Hill, and the Gedin Makama Museum. Leather works, weaving, and cloth dyeing are central to the traditional arts and crafts of Kano. Tourists can also enjoy architectural structures that date back to the 15th century. Number 3. Benin City Benin City is the capital of Edo State. It is one of the oldest cities in the country, dating back to the pre-colonial era. Its unique history and culture make it a must-visit place in Nigeria. The city is also popular for its bronze sculptures and various arts and crafts, some of which are currently displayed in various museums all over the world. Top attractions of Benin City include the Royal Palace of the Oba of Benin, Ojiman Palace, Okomu National Park, Egun Street, the Ig Festival, and the National Museum. Benin City is also a great place for foodies. You can try various delectable local dishes, like pounded yam and Ogbano soup, at food markets, restaurants, and from vendors throughout the city. Number 2. Lagos. Nigeria's most populous city, Lagos, boasts some truly wonderful feats of architecture, including the Leki Ikoi Bridge, Lagos Lagoon, the Marina, and the National Theater. Frenetic and packed, Lagos is not only the largest city in Nigeria, but also the single largest on the entire African continent. Yep, nearly 18 million people call this one home, and boy does it show. Throbbing streets of beer bars and clubs pepper the districts of Akija and Victoria Island, where expats and sailors and locals alike chat over frothy brews. There are also salt-washed promenades on the coast and the beautiful reaches of Lagos Bar Beach, a sloping stretch of golden sand that meets the waves of the Atlantic Ocean in style. Meanwhile, jet skis purr across Tarqua Bay, and the sobering histories of the slave trade continue to move at the point of no return. The Nike Art Gallery is also a must-visit for art lovers and enthusiasts. This contemporary five-story art gallery, established in 2009 by Nike Davies Okunde, is located in Lagos, a southwestern state. The gallery houses over 20,000 artworks by various Nigerian artists and evidently encourages and creates a conducive atmosphere for the growth and appreciation of African art. Number 1. Abuja. Abuja is the capital city of Nigeria, strategically located right in the middle of the country. It is one of the most beautifully planned cities in the world, furnished with spectacular architectural sites including the National Stadium, National Mosque, and National Christian Center. Purpose-built, enfolded by the soft topography of the inland hills. There's no grit or grime here, or at least not relatively. That means the capital is a nice place to relax and unwind following the energy and action of the megalopolis on the coast. And there are other interesting sites too, like the Abuja Millennium Park, 
and the quad of spear-like minarets that heralds the beautiful Abuja National Mosque. Meanwhile, Woos Market is great for shoppers, and the National Assembly Complex offers a glimpse into the country's modern political system. It is also home to the National Assembly, the Presidential Palace, and many other beautifully designed government headquarters, including the Supreme Court. Visible from all parts of the city is the Aso Rock, a monolith reaching a height of 400 meters. This city presents something special for all kinds of tourists. Hikers in particular will love the Yusuma Lower Dam, while Thought Pyramid Art Center is a must-see for anyone who enjoys art, design, and culture. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.